Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to see how to create list view in Android. And we are going to create one of the best list view with gradients, random gradients and animation on our list view. So in this video, we are going to explore lots of things about list view in Android. Now one thing may, you may be think why we need list view if we already have a recycler view. So I want to tell one thing as an Android developer, you should know how to work with both list view as well as recycler view. Sometimes recycler view is effective, sometimes list view is effective. Let us suppose you have a static data and you want to show in a form of list. So on that time, list view is very effective to use it. And also it is very easy to set up list view and recycler view is also very easy. But if you have a static data and if you have a single type data, let us suppose you want to show only titles or you want to show only two fields in your and single item so on that time list view is perfect and recycler view is perfect when you have multiple items inside a single item let us suppose image status time blue ticks like whatsapp so on that time recycler view is effective so in this video we are going to see how to create list view with animation multiple gradients with random gradients and all about list view how to set on click listener on that so we are going to explore everything in this video so before starting this video let's see a demo what we are going to do so for this i have to open my phone so I open my phone and this is the project which we are going to create. So this is the list view. So you can see it contain animation and random gradients on every item. So if I come down, you can see it contain random gradients on every item. So and also animation inside the text. So we are going to create this beautiful list view in Android and you can use this list view in any project. It is your choice, whatever you want to use. And one more thing I want to say, every time you are coming down and every time you are going to top, it automatically going to changing the color of a background. So you can see on the top right now, this is purple, yellow, red, something like that. And if I come down and if I go back, you can see yellow, purple or green. So every time it is changing its color. So we are going to explore this thing also in Android. So don't further delay. Now let's start the video. And if you don't subscribe our channel, then please subscribe our channel and hit the bell notification. And also if you don't like the video till now, then please like the video. I need only one thing, just like the video. So now let's start the video. So open your Android studio and after opening your Android studio, you have to just click on file. Then you have to click on new and click on new project. Then click on empty activity, click on next and give any name to your project. So I simply give here list view tutorial and click on finish now minimize it come inside your activity main xml file click on split and delete this text view and change the constraint layout to relative layout this is the first thing which we have to do so now first of all we have to paste some resources inside our project which we are going to use so some colors some strings and some drawables and some animations so i open my previous project so first of all, these all are gradients, which I'm going to use. So I copy these all gradients, gradient one to gradient eight. So I will provide the drive link of the gradient or you can type it manually. So I will going to show all gradients code one by one. So you can see this is gradient one. This is the start color and color. Gradient two, gradient three, gradient four, gradient five, gradient six, gradient seven, gradient eight. This one all are the gradients, which we are going to use inside my project. Now this last gradient for my background so I control C copy and paste this gradient as well here. So this is no BG. So it is showing error because I don't import the color as well. So I open again project. I open my colors.xml file. Copy these colors. Two colors from here. So you can also type the code manually. It is very easy. You have to just take the color names here. And you can see it is fine. And also I want to change my title bar color. So I am make change here. That's it. So now close this. Also, you can see now this gradient is showing here successfully. Close this. Close every gradient because we don't need gradient. We need gradient inside our project. So I close this. Now open my previous project again. So I need also a font. So I copy the font directory entire and paste it here on my resource. So it is your choice whether you want to use custom font or not. So if you have your own font, I will provide this entire directory in drive link. So don't worry. Now the thing which is left, I think I open again strings, which I am going to use this. So it contain an array, which contain all the titles, which I am going to show inside our project. So it is depend on you, what kind of data you want to show. It is totally depend on you. I have a, so it is always better to create an array inside your strings. So I give the array title name title and it contain all item which I want to show in my project. So hope you understand how this is working. Close this. 
so this is done this is done now animation is left so i open again and i copy this anim directory so control c and it contain only one animation to show the text uh, text effect so i paste this on my resource and you can see it contains one animation file animation one dot xml so it is your choice whether you want to type it or i will provide the drive link also so it contains this animation or you can use your own custom animation it is depend on you i will so tell you how to use it but just you can use your own design own animation it is totally depend on your project upon your theme so i close this so these all things are done and we are ready to write the code now so first of all open your main activity and let's remove the action bar first of all it will spoil our design so get support action bar dot hide so now we are ready to write the main code so open activity main xml file and from here we have to start writing the code so first of all we have to take a list view here. so take an open bracket type here list view set the layout with match pair match pair and give any id whatever you want so i give the id name here list view that's it now close this now i am adding a background here so background no bg i am going to use this background for my project so now come down and open your main java and here we have to write the code so first of all declare a variable for our list view type list view list view second variable is for our animation so animation animation you can give any name it is your choice and last for our string which contain an array so string i give the array name here title so first of all assign the xml id into a java id it is always better otherwise it will going to show null pointer exception list view is used to find your id r dot id dot list view this one then after this we have we have a title so inside our title array i want to store the array which i store in my string so get resources we have to use this get resources sorry get resources dot get string array and inside this your array name so my array name is title so if you control and click on this title you can see this is the array which is present here so let us any column here now we have to create an adapter so i give the adapter name main adapter and variable name is adapter then new main adapter again it is showing error because i don't create the adapter till now that's why it is showing error but don't worry we will create it soon so inside this first context which i want to pass here on my main activity dot this and second thing which i want to pass my title array then i want to set this adapter on my list view so before setting the adapter first of all i want to set the animation so animation equal animation utils we are going to use this animation utils dot load animation pass the context and second thing your animation name so r dot anim anim is directory then animation one we have to use this and at the last thing which we have to do list view dot set adapter and inside this pass the adapter that's it so let's create the adapter first so right click here the new then click on java class with the class name main adapter so you can see it is created successfully and the error is gone so it is showing error don't worry you will solve this error soon now one thing if someone click on the list view item then we have to show a toast i am going to show the toast but you can perform uh, redirect the user to a new activity it is your depend on you so how to set it list view dot set on item click listener then new then this one adapter view dot item on click listener so it will return the position of that item so i am going to show the toast toast dot make test get application context and i want to show the title again on which title it is clicking so title array and i get the position i so by using this i you can redirect the user to anywhere wherever you want those documents show that's it now open your main adapter and here you have to write the main code how to set the all the gradients all animation here so first of all we have to declare extend it to our base adapter base adapter this is for list view now it is showing a related problem so simply implement the method so it contains four methods get count get item get item id get view so click on ok and it will implement all methods here now inside my base adapter first of all i am taking two things first first thing is the context and second thing my title so for this i have to if i want to take up so first of all declare a variable of main activity right because the context is type of main activity then the second is the title array so it is also a string type so i give the give the same type here which you are passing from your main activity and the last thing i have an animation also so i give the variable name animation here so it is saying so import this animation now we have to create the constructor so alt insert constructor 
and we need only two things main activity and title because we are passing these two things from here so you can see now the error is gone and we are ready now we have a context and also a title as well now we have to create a function as well here to get the random number to set the gradient on our list view item so i simply type here public static int and i give the function name here get random and it will i will pass the number inside this so because i need a grade i have only eight gradients or we can say nine gradients so i want a number between zero to nine so if i get one then i will set one gradient one if i get two then i will set gradient two something like that so i want only num number between zero to one to nine so that's why i am passing a number here to get the number between that so inside this function it will return return it will return the number of integer type int and then we will call the math random function math dot random and inside this we will pass multiply it by max which we will pass so it will return the number up to here now inside your get i get count you have to pass the length of this your item so title dot length it is an array so we can use this inside get item you have to pass here i that's it and inside get item id you also have to pass here i to your current position and inside get view here we have to write all code whatever you want we have to inflate the u view or everything so first of all we have to create a custom layout for our items so new layout resource file new layout item layout you can give any name it is your choice click on ok and click on split so first of all make sure to change here so i am going to make change here so relative layout and uh, add a background here first of all so first of all i give the id rl item i give this id name then we have a padding so i give the padding here 10 dp and then we have a height of this wrap content otherwise it will not going to show anything it will going to show only one item on one screen that's why i always give wrap content then take a card view set the layout with match paint height wrap content then elevation it is always better to give little bit shadow elevation and card max elevation higher dp then card corner radius 5 dp it is fine then we have a id so id is card view you can give any id name and then close this so it is better to give here 10 dp instead of 5 dp then take a linear layout inside this set the layout with match and height rep content again give a padding 10 dp it is fine and then id so llbg why we are giving the id name because we have to change the gradients programmatically so llbg and for now i am setting here background so background gradient one or gradient one okay, this is fine now inside this what i need i need a text view so it is showing error so why it is showing error so we don't set the orientation so i set the orientation vertical that's it now we can open back a time here text view Set the layout with math parent wrap content. Give any text for now. I am simply giving here status. You can give any text for checking purpose. Now give any ID. So I simply give the ID name here text view. Then we have a text color. So text color is white. Then we have a text alignment. So text alignment is center. Then we have a text size. So first of all, margin top 10 dp, margin bottom 10 dp text style bold and text size 25 sp font family google sense medium and then close this so this item is created successfully and it look you can see it look fabulous now close this so inside main adapter we have to write code here inside our get view so first of all we have to inflate the view so we have to take a variable here so view view equal layout inflator dot from pass the context main activity then we have to inflate dot inflate r dot layout dot new item layout and then attach to root false and one thing we have to pass here view group and then false so now we have to return this view so this is done now inside this we have to set all text animation here also so animation equal animation utils also animation utils dot load animation and inside this pass the context and second thing r dot any dot 
animation one we are going to use this now assign the xml id into our java id so because we have to set the text and gradient also so text view i give the id name a text view then we have a linear layout so llbg i give this id name on my xml as well now assign llbg equal view dot find view id r dot id dot llbg this one and text view equal find view id view dot find view id So now we will generate a random number. So int I will store that number inside this number variable. Int number equal get random, and inside this I will pass maximum eight. So I need number up to eight from zero to eight. Then if I get number one, so if I get number one from this function, so if number is equals to one, if number equal equal one, then I will set the gradient one. So llbg dot set background. llbg dot set background. Then we have to pass Context first, context compact dot get drawable. First of all, here we have to pass the context, and then second thing, our drawable name. So gradient one. This is done. So hope you understand how to set the gradients programmatically on layouts. So now I am going to copy paste the entire code because it will going to take lots of time. So you can you can see these are just the conditions. So control C copy. So you can see now I set the all. If number is equals to one, then I will set gradient one. If number two, gradient two, and if I, and I must include the else part. Let us suppose sometime we get any other number from this, so it will so an exception on the time app will crash. So it is always better to add a else condition. And on else part, I will be adding a snow bg. So that's it. Now at last, what I have to do? I have to add a text text on my item. So text view dot set item set text. And I am passing a title i, so it will string, so it will automatically set it to here. And then at last we have to set the animation set text animation, and inside this your animation file name, animation variable name. This one is. So finally, guys, our list view is ready, and now you can see we just create this list view in very easy way. So now let's check our app whether the app is working or not, and if it is working fine, then we'll end this. And if you don't like the video till now, then please like the video. So we will start building. Create a build successful and it will going to install the application inside our phone. And application installed successfully and you can see animation is working fine. Gradients are automatically placed here, and it is showing random gradient every time, every time. So I hope guys you love this video. If you have any question, if you have any query, just comment down below. Please share the content. Please share the video. If you want more projects, more video on Android, so please like the video. Please share the channel. Thank you. See you soon in next amazing video. Thank you.